first. Uh, we we started talking about in chat here. Um, urban Cockworth exploration. Underscore the underscore robot says I agree. You are dumb. Ignore that. Ignore that. Um. But this is my favorite urban exploration guy. Uh, his name is Shy. I think is how you say it. Um, and he's been finding these underground uh, fallout shelters in I think Ukraine or Russia, or both. But uh, we'll we'll check it out. It's very very interesting if you're into this sort of thing. He's definitely he I, he's definitely yeah he's a big fave big favorite of mine. I love watching these, um, just to like relax, especially this guy's. His audio is really good. Very um, like ASMR like. Yeah, these pe these places are just kind of creepy. It's like what, like what are the are they still using these? Because there's power too. You'll see in a little bit. I don't know if it's this one, but they d he's he's found like a tank as well. So maybe stick stay tuned. I know this one for sure has like a, a command center in it. Really weird. I'm trying to get into this bunker. Three years now, on and off. And I'm finally here. What? He's been trying to get in for three years. This is a huge one. I'm gonna walk around, turn on the lights on, and show it to you. Hey Lucas, welcome in. There's a bunch of vehicles around me. We're just watching this uh, urban exploration video. Going clockwise. We finish up. Oh my god, another anus. Makes sense. Damn. Yeah, there's I don't even know what brand this is. Looks cool. Super old car. What the but a the Lada is the car. Are these what supposed the to be the shit? pedals? It's kind of cool. Oh, what? Is that like an accessibility thing? I'm older than the car. Uh, no. Rest it out. Definitely not. Oh, shit. Chevrolet. Fuck is an American car doing here? It's a conspiracy. There's an American car here. It's kind of newer. The I'm not a mechanic, but it the it, it looks nice. Kind of kept up. Oh, there's evil in the door. That's some weird shit. This is a lot of, I think. A lot of. See, I knew it. There would be a lot of. There's a 100% chance to be a lot of like diesel. A anywhere you go in like the Ukraine or Russia. Cool. I will come back to the fire truck. God damn. <laughs> Whole ass fire here. truck in there. Oh dude. my god, it's so juicy. Oh my god, it's so juicy. <laughs> it's my favorite redeem. Stolen from the great and wonderful Veridarium. Actually, I don't think she has that as a redeem, but someone keeps playing it uh, on their blur. Unused. But you, you, you guys can um, you can play whatever you want. You have to pay though. I think it's like a hundred, oh, yeah. hundred bits a dollar, if you will, USD. You can play whatever These sound you want. Baby masks. The ones that sound Chernobyl. The ass masks, <laughs> yes. Dude, look, look how God many damn. there are, though. Just literal Helmets. stacks and stacks of boxes full of gas masks and protective Medicine equipment packs. and shit. That's weird. We got huge filters. What kind of filter is that? And like, for the masks, masks themselves? That's huge, like... Giant mask pouch. They're gonna hang off your face like that? I've seen bunkers with equipment like this, and I've seen all of this equipment spread around individually around bunkers, but. So 
we're in this perfect brand new condition. Yeah, this one's especially weird. Like you said, uh, most of them are, most of the stuff is like, or some of it is well, new. you have been hiding here. Yes, Holy this shit. is what I was talking about. It's not a tank, it's like it's a... It's a goddamn BTR. BTR, I guess? I think it's like a personnel Beat carrier type fuck, thing. But... Like a riot vehicle? It's a fucking tank. It's in a weird. bunker. Like, I wonder how they got it down well, there, you know? I've only seen it dead. Or maybe he's... Damn. I don't think he shows... I don't think he ends up showing um, any, like, garage doors fucking, or anything. It's so cool. Did they stash it here? Maybe there are, he just couldn't use them to get in because it's too obvious. Alright, that's... Because he, he does that's sneak that's in to most the of the these. Truck. Through, like, vents and shit. No, it just still has all the equipment inside it. Fire trucks are so cool. Well, have you guys ever sat in one before? Fire truck before. This is the same fire truck model they used all over the Soviet Union, meaning they used these type of fire trucks in the Chernobyl disaster. And I'm just thinking, like, being behind this fucking huge wheel and this goddamn tin can rolling forward towards an open reactor. All right, I want to get on the roof of this thing. Yeah, can you imagine that? Just rolling up to Chernobyl like shit. I picked the a bad job. <laughs> siren. I guess those are the water pumps. It's so crusty. Damn, this is crispy. Yeah. I see that whoever owns this bunker just dumped all their trash in. But they're pretty cool tutorials here. Yes, uh, are you guys taking notes? There will be a quiz. Bunker. That's how Boom Boom looks. And this is what you <laughs> feel. Loss of vision, headaches. This stuff wow. is the creepiest to me. I think it's all just stuff about like yeah, nuclear consequences. War. So equipment, that's the procedures. What? I guess they learned a lot Something about it's just creepy. Disaster. All these Although it was basically posters. The same time they were building these things. A lot more posters there, but they're just terribly obstructed by this junk. That's the thing about bunker preservation. A lot of people see these as just storage units and just throw all the old, you know, historic shit on the side, make room for their fucking fire trucks and tanks. But. You know, looking at this car, I can kind of appreciate the uh, new owners here. Ooh. Chaika. Looks like a goddamn Batmobile. Yeah, that's a pretty cool car. I have a feeling... It smells like shit. <laughs> I have a feeling some of these are being used by like the mafia or some sort of cri you know criminal activity. Wow, this is a comfortable seat. Okay, and there's two more. It's like a fucking limo. Yes, that's wild. So this is the that must be like some kind of VIP vehicle. Ceramic doors, balance probably thick as hell as well. Sorry, there is the like a mini. It's yeah. like a miniature limo. This is where neat. power stays at. Really, don't want to mess with anything here. Huge ass filters. I think this was supposed to be a diesel engine, but gone. I wonder why he doesn't want to mess with the power because he turned the lights Those on. Those are bathrooms and showers. Boring. Maybe he knows more about the systems than I do. Maybe they'll be like alerted or something. Right. So he this is the flips the switch. Started. This is where the real command is made in this command bunker. We got a planning room, communications room, key room, bathroom. They got everything. Is that a bat? I think a bat's flying around. Let's go. 
I think this is the management graphs and building plans of this bunker. I will study these when I scan through the footage, but if they reveal the location, I'm gonna have to hide them. But this, this I think is the warning board. Attention everybody, and I think this is the drills they have to do when one of them light up. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes watching this guy, I, I really wish I knew Russian. Yeah, phone's dead. Okay, this is the command room. Locked, of course. See, I found this guy, like, a, I think a couple years ago. And I've watched, like, I went oh, back shit. through all of his videos because it's so interesting. Very highly illegal. <laughs> but really interesting. I guess this was the speaker. I wonder how many nukes I'm launching right now. <laughs> launching all the nukes? He's very funny too. So weird fun. Dead of course. Just imagine sitting here and waiting for the fucking end. God damn. Nice. He's launching a nuke up my butthole, currently. Yep, here it comes, I feel it. It was a small oh my one. God, another anus. Another. Yes, this is the entrance to the command room. Ignoring that, Codsworth. The hum, like the electrical hum in, hum in there, is really uh, unsettling as well. I'm like, who's oh this? God, who's this guy? Anus. It's just a picture of him. Were, were, were they going to assassinate that guy? This place really Bomb. makes me feel so. It's a really old there, picture, so. though. I don't know. Basically, there everything works after like. Fucking, I don't even know how many years. 1990s. Man, that lamp is really buzzing. Shakmati. Signal. I gotta write down signals, I guess. Another speaker. Mask. I guess I'm gonna have to blur these as well because I see that they show the location. What the hell? Wow. Yeah, what? It's really weird that the phones are like this stuck like on there. International or something. This guy's probably never these watched a horror movie. Work, right? Communicate back he's just gonna go into one of these whatever. bunkers one time and he's gonna release. He's, he's gonna works. find just the antennas don't work fucking uh, umbrellas gone. umbrella corporations this actual underground bunker and just release all the zombies gonna, and we're gonna, gonna be fucked yeah surely okay, somewhere so in one of these there's a monster there's the water room bunch of these all over this place there's like two three more water rooms with like a couple of these huge things showers and the key room luckily for me everything was already unlocked <laughs> the fuck is the point of that yeah those are ugly shoes everything's unlocked well here it is god damn this is the most impressive bunker i've visited so far it's not the biggest the biggest was the one that i had to crawl through a bent pipe to get to that had like two like connected bunkers, both two floors underground. It's ridiculous. Yeah, that one. That's the one he's talking about is pretty, right. pretty wild too. I'm gonna turn off the lights and mm. get it going. Just tuck, tuck the bunker in. Kiss it, kiss it on the personnel carrier. 
Night night. Good night, Bunker. We'll miss you. <laughs> Alright.